Hello guys, this is Trader UC from Mommy Trades. Uh, I hope everybody's doing good. Uh, just wanted to quickly make a little video on uh, how to put a conditional order based on the candle close, right, in the Think or Swim platform. I know a lot of members have asked that question, uh, and I know Annie does use that feature sometimes. Most of the time, she's making manual trades, but but I know she has used that uh, uh, feature of the Thinkorswim platform and communicated with uh, her members. So, and some of you had asked how to put that uh, conditional order based on the candle closure and a subsequent order to sell as well, uh, you know, with a certain amount of percentage or if the underlying reaches a certain uh, price after you guys get in the trade uh, to close the trade automatically. So uh, let me demonstrate that here uh, and hopefully everybody's able to take advantage of that or you know if you don't but just would like to know it's up to you. So let's assume that uh, you know the, the, the level that any wants to go um, wants to get long or she wants to get into calls is let's say 18 15.1 right let's just make that up so usually the way uh, I would do it is uh, actually just go and create a create a white line or something that will tell me that that is my price level I would like to be uh, get in calls you know something that stands out so 1815 I know that now so that if the two minute bar closes above that I would like to get into calls so and here is the 1830 call chart for well, let's just open another one uh, let's say well, 29th November let's say 1815 right so we want to get in 1815 calls expiring this week once the candle closes two minute candle closes above 1815 and you can define whatever candle you want one minute or three minute whatever but we're just taking two minute you know for the sake of uh, this example right so you right click here and go and click on buy custom with OCO bracket so OCO bracket means one cancels the other so we'll talk about that but let's just click there so it opens this, uh, okay, uh, let's put that limit. So it opens this three, uh, you know, orders. So the green is basically telling you that you'll be buying this order. Uh, you'll be buying this call of 1815 and we'll put the condition in there. And then once it buys, I would like to sell it uh, at a certain price or uh, I would like to sell it uh, once the underlying Amazon reaches let's say 1820 so we'll get there but for right now we want to buy Amazon 1815 once the two minute candle closes above 1815 so how do you place a conditional order you see this little settings button you click on there and you change the price rules to say market because you don't know what the market price will be uh, for that call once the two minute bar closes above that level so you just want to buy that market but the condition that you want is 1815 can close above so you come here on this middle part of the screen click here once you click here it says Amazon click here to the method and go choose study and click on edit and click here where it says D choose two minutes and then click on the edit button here under uh, under the studies here and click on edit and choose your conditional uh, condition criteria so you click on this arrow and you say price and you want the close price right and you want the period the two minute period as an aggregation uh, price type you can say mark or last whatever you want that criteria to be uh, you know let's just say last and then you want to say is greater than 
and the condition would be a value and you have to define that value which is 1815 within one bar right so you want that you, you want within one bar uh, within that particular bar that that particular bar where the price closes above 1815 uh, you want that execution done right so you just click on save and the condition just kind of you know takes all that information and puts in this kind of clause you click on OK so now your condition is set for uh, for that for that option to trigger once it closes once the two minute bar closes above 1815 and it says that over here as well right and the condition is true two minute 1815 all that stuff is written here as part of the condition click on save so now that part is done and now you would come on this next one and you want to let's say sell it at 18 I don't know 1818 right when the underlying when the Amazon price after the breakout after buying your option once it touches 1818 you want it to sell at market price or we'll see so what you do is you come here you actually you go on to the settings uh, little you know button over here on the right side as well so you say I want to sell that at market once the Amazon price the the let's say the mark price the mid price between bid and ask is greater than or equal to 1818 and make sure you press enter or tab and this thing changes or reflects what you are saying here sell Amazon blah 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 you know that call and trigger when the price Amazon price is at or above 1818 and you click on save so now one portion of your OCO order is two portions of your OCO orders are complete and now let's you know for for fun sake let's do another one and you you want to let's say you don't want to wait for that long or you just want to see if what if the price does not reach 1818 but your option goes up right for whatever reason for inflated volatility or something and 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 you want to come out right but so what do you do at that so what you can do is you can say hey uh, trigger my cell TRG uh, or you know target I think that's what's called not trigger but it's called target and uh, to sell it you can say as you can choose a certain percentage you can say sell it for 15 percent higher for whatever uh, price I got in at right so you can say that 15 come on so you can say that that you know whatever let's say you end up buying it at nine dollars right at the market price at nine dollars and mm, you want to s sell it 15% above that or you want to sell it when the Amazon is at 1818 so whichever of these two conditions will uh, are is met first your sell order one of those sell orders will get executed right and the other one will get cancelled so that's how you can submit it or if you can say hey I bought it at nine or whatever market price I end up buying it at just sell it at plus 1.5 so whatever my is my buy price I want to sell it at plus 1.5 so let's say you end up buying it at 9 so essentially you're saying it if you end up buying it at 9 you want to get out at 10.5 so that's 1.5 above your buy price right whatever that would be if it's at 9.45 you will be out at 10.45 essentially so that's what it means uh, yeah and then you can just click and click on confirm and send and your order is submitted and waiting for the condition to be met and then once the condition is met an order is executed and filled these two subsequent orders are uh, are also triggered and whichever of these two order gets filled first the other one will get cancelled yeah so this is how you this is how you place an order a conditional order 
And one more thing, one of the members asked, what if we want to place, uh, hold on, uh, cancel and replace order. Can we do that? Nope, I don't want to do that. I want to cancel and replace group. Okay. Oh crap, I canceled the whole damn thing. Okay, whatever. Let's, well, let me just show you the, the other way. Uh, let's go to charts. Because uh, this is really cool. I think you guys will like it. I haven't tried that. Uh, by Custer, we'll see bracket. Let's say we want to limit. We want to sell not at the uh, let's say you know the, the remember the first part for the sell order i said that we want to sell uh at market when the underlying reaches 1818 18, right when the underlying when the amazon price reaches 1818 18, we would like to sell at market whatever that price is let's say we don't want to sell it at market we want to sell at the limit price but we don't know the limit price what will the limit price be at that point so but what we can build a condition to hey submit the sell order at the uh, whatever the bid price bid price for that option is at that point in time uh you know uh, and then then see if it gets executed so the way to do that is you come here click on that again conditions tab and you say I want to sell at limit price uh, and hold on one second I think oh I have to make that condition first uh, bu, 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 bu. let me do that buy that market Amazon let's just say to that mark price is 1815 or above save okay so this is cool so you come here, click on that, and you say you want to sell it at limit price, right? But you're like, okay, what will the limit price be at that time? Hey, that's fine. You link the limit price to whatever the bid price is at that time. For Amazon, once it is above 1818. So you're not selling it at market price because that could be you know whatever but you want to sell it at the limit price but you want that limit price to be the whatever the bid price for that option is at at that particular point in time right and this offset rule is actually a cool feature because it could be that when you are when, when the order gets submitted to sell at bid what if the price falls down and you don't get a fill and then you could be stuck holding it so what you can do is you can say hey I'm okay to get, let's say, 0 0.30 cents below the bid to as well if market starts to fall down the moment I submit that order. So that will offset the bid by 30 cents. So that's a cool feature, right? Because you don't want to be get stuck in the market if bid keeps falling, If, uh, but just something that you can do as well. So I thought I'll, I'll let you know, uh, I'll let you guys know, okay? Hopefully you guys like it and try it out. Always try this thing out on paper first. Kind of improve your, you know, understanding of this kind of order. Uh, and then, then you can, you know, try it on your real account. Okay. Thank you guys. Have a very good night.